Hey guys, just a quick update on what I've been working on lately. This is the enemy spawner tool, uh, and it does exactly what the name implies. It uh, lets you spawn any type of enemy that we've defined with a bunch of different settings. Now, why would you want to do that instead of just dragging the blueprint into your level? Well, for one, it allows you to have randomness. So I have the enemy spawner selected here, and you can see here on the right hand side, you can choose the enemy type, weapon, damage, etc. But if you look on the drop down, not only do you have the list, you have the ability to spawn a random, in this case, flying enemy, or a random uh, weapon type, or a random damage type. Right? So the idea here is that instead of having all these static enemies, uh, you can have some randomness. So maybe you want the same enemy with different types of damage to spawn uh, every time you start the level. Or maybe you want random enemies with the same stats, right? So you can have a random enemy with the same type of weapon or damage, etc. It's just to give you guys uh, some randomness, right? So you want a bit of randomness every time the player uh, plays your level. You can also use uh, difficulty mode, which is something I haven't showed before. Uh, but the game will have, uh, you can see here, a bunch of different ones, uh, very easy, easy, normal, hard, and insane, or random. And based on your difficulty here, it'll adjust a bunch of stuff like the health of the enemy, the type of weapon, um, the type of damage, etc. Another reason you might want to use this is because you can use this spawner uh, to spawn multiple enemies on a specific interval, and I'll show you that in a second here. Uh, so instead of just spawning one enemy, you can say, I want you to spawn five enemies every three seconds. Uh, and it'll spawn whatever enemy you select here every three seconds. Uh, and finally, the, the overarching goal here is that you'll be able to create waves of enemies, right? Whether it's an encounter like a boss, uh, you'll be able to target these spawners and just spawn on a, on a given timer or when an event happens. So that's the idea, is give you flexibility on how you do that. So right now, let's just let's just take a quick look at a couple of things here. So let's just go ahead and spawn one enemy, the bandit here. If I just click simulate, it just spawns the enemy with the behavior of uh, just go around the, the volume here. You can see um, the idle behavior is moved to random location in this uh, bounding box. So as soon as it spawns, it'll just go ahead and roam around inside this volume. You can also do... Uh, the same behavior that, that I've showed you before, you can do a patrol route and I have two routes selected here. These are basically splines. Uh, so let's just choose this one. So if I want the enemy to spawn and patrol this route, I have to come here and just select the, the patrol route. Now if I click on simulate, you can see that the enemy is now patrolling the route. It's going pretty quickly here. So let's do a few more things uh, that I think are fun. So, okay, so you spawn an enemy, uh, which you can do either uh, get a random location or, or follow a path. But what about if you want to spawn multiple enemies? Uh, so maybe you select spawn a random flying enemy, um, and then you say, and I want you to do multiple spawns and do five enemies every three seconds. Let's make the behavior uh, move to a random location. So spawn the saucer. Now it's spawning the other type of enemy. And now it spawns this type of enemy. It's completely random. And each one is just uh, selecting a different place uh, <coughs> in the volume. see five enemies every three seconds cool uh, or another example that I find pretty funny uh, let's do patrol route and let's choose patrol route number two and let's spawn 20 enemies every three seconds let's make it every two seconds Actually, let's just make it 30 here see what happens and you can see now that they're spawning every two seconds and following this outer route here. So you can do a lot of cool things. Obviously, this is just uh, going around. Uh, but imagine you have several different routes uh, from your level, and you can just have one point uh, where you're spawning all kinds of different enemies. And um, you can see here, all I'm doing is just spawning 
a different type of enemy every two seconds and they're just following the path here you do have to be careful because they do have collisions so if two of these guys collide uh, they'll actually create a little bottleneck here um, which is pretty fun but as you can see here it's just spawning up to 30 different enemies and they're all starting at the beginning of the route here and just following the route at the specified speed and obviously, um, you know, if, if I were to hit play and my behavior would be to attack the player, then as soon as they see the player, they'll obviously break formation and go and attack the player. So uh, this is just the idle formation here. And one last thing I wanted to show is uh, obviously you can take it farther than that. So you can imagine this is just one spawner. Well, what if you want to have multiple spawners? So let's do just that. Uh, you'll notice here there's a variable called active and inactive. So if, if the spawner is active, it'll immediately start spawning on begin play. So you make it inactive and it'll actually wait for basically an event or some other blueprint to come in here and tell it what to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to spawn a random flying enemy and it's going to move to a random location inside this volume. and Let's just duplicate this a few times here, here, and here. And now, let's take a look at another tool that I developed, which is the Spawn Manager, this little guy here. And all it does is uh, go through the level and activate the specific enemy spawns. So you'll notice that there is a tag, it's called Spawner1. Uh, and all of these guys have the same tag. So what, what the spawn manager does is it looks for all of the different spawners with the tag spawner1 or whatever you put in there and activates the spawn point. And same thing, you can do that on begin play, which I'm going to show here. Or you can have another enemy like a boss communicate with this guy and then activate all the different spawns. So right now, every single spawn will have a random enemy. So if I click play, you'll see that every spawn just spawned one random enemy. Or you can go back here and say, no, I want to spawn multiple enemies and do basically the same thing. Uh, how many enemies and the frequency. So if I say something like 10, every spawn point should spawn 10 enemies every three seconds. Just going to click play here. And you can see that very quickly you can uh, start populating the volume here. So you should have around, well, there you go. Every three seconds, each point uh, spawns. So I could, I could take this a little farther, but I think for now, uh, the idea here is that you have like a boss character manage specific spawn points uh, this way. So imagine waves of enemies. Uh, when the boss reaches a specific stage, it'll just spawn like four enemies. So you kill the enemies, then the boss will spawn four more, etc. So that's pretty much it. Oops. Let me just uh, exit out of here. Uh, let me know what you think, and uh, talk to you soon. Thanks.